Pool blisters, the nemesis of most old fiberglass pools. Just about every fiberglass pool over the age of 15 that we work on has some sign of some blistering. Some pools just have six or ten small blisters. We've seen some pools with thousands of blisters. The average pool, I would say, has somewhere between 100 and 150 blisters. Some are small, some are large, some are wet and some are dry. This video focuses on those blisters that are either already weeping or will leak water as soon as we start to prepare the pool for resurfacing. We call these blisters wet blisters. So what are they and what causes them? There are a number of different explanations, but the consensus within the industry is that the root cause is a process known as osmosis. So what is osmosis? Well, osmosis is where at the microscopic level, air and water seep through the fiberglass structure of the shell and ultimately gets trapped at a point between the fiberglass shell and your pool surface, which is the gel coat. This diagram shows a cross section of, of your pool and it shows the process and damage that osmosis causes by creating the blister. As you can see, it, it shows your pool surface, which in most cases is a gel coat. It also shows the structural shell of the pool. That's the part that provides the strength of your fiberglass pool. And it's typically on a pool like yours made out of a polyester resin. This diagram also shows what's behind your pool, which is the backfill. This backfill provides support to your pool as it's filled up with water. So what happens with osmosis? So at the microscopic level, air and water seep through the pool shell and typically get trapped behind your pool surface. As more and more osmosis occurs with time, the pressure slowly builds up until at some point this water pressure actually bursts through your pool surface. It either bursts through on its own or it bursts through as we're preparing your pool to be resurfaced through our sanding process. As you can see from this video, the results of osmosis is a messy, wet blister that's got to be taken care of if you're going to be resurfacing your pool. So osmosis caused your blisters, but what causes the osmosis? Well, the general consensus is that there's two main factors. The first is faulty construction. Back when your pool was manufactured, which is typically in the 70s, 80s and 90s, most fiberglass pool manufacturers relied solely on polyester resins and poor quality gel coats. Nowadays, Modern fiberglass pools use vinyl ester resins and epoxies to build and finish their pools. These new pools are significantly less susceptible to osmosis. And the second factor is long-term poor water chemistry. If chlorine and or acid levels are allowed to get too high and are left too high for a long period of time, coupled with pool water that's warm, again over a long period of time, osmosis can be accelerated. So can blisters be repaired? The obvious answer is yes, they can. On an, any individual basis, a blister can be fixed. We do this first by opening up the blister with a grinder or a sander. We then remove all the bad delaminating material. We have to open this hole up till we get to good material. This hole, this void is then filled with a very special putty that's typically epoxy based. Once the putty is put in and the void is filled and feathered in, it's smoothed down, ready for the new surface to go on the pool. 
So what does it mean to you? Well, this is a, one of those good news, bad news situations. The bad news is that unfortunately your pool is now classed as a distressed pool shell. This means that all parts of your pool shell are susceptible to blisters appearing. Even those areas where you don't have blisters right now can still get a blister in the future. The good news is that you do have options. Green Turtle's got many years worth of experience dealing with fiberglass pools in all types of condition. So give us a call and we'll explain to you what those options are.